Hi, I'm Wayne Pukarski for The Developer Show, and this is your update on the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. .app is the newest top-level domain from Google Registry, and it's now open for general registration. The link's on the post in the description below. If you're heading to WWDC this year, join us at the Firebase party on June 4th to hang out with other developers, meet engineers and product leads from the Firebase team, and relax after the first day of WWDC. Head on over to the post to request an invite. On Google Cloud Platform, alias IPs allow you to configure secondary IPs or IP ranges on your virtual machine instances for a secure and highly scalable way to deliver traffic to your applications. You can now dynamically add and remove alias IP ranges for existing running VMs so that you can migrate your applications from one VM to another in the event of a software or machine failure. Graphs and example commands are on the post. We've rolled out the next generation scheduler for App Engine standard environment, and our tests show that it delivers better scaling performance, more efficient resource consumption, and lower costs for you. Check out the post for metrics and links to get started. Logs contain some of the most valuable data available, particularly when troubleshooting an incident. And structured log data is even more powerful, enabling you to extract the most valuable data from your logs. We recently announced new features so that you can better use structured log data, such as the ability to add custom fields in the logs viewer in Stackdriver. Take a look at the post for screenshots and steps to get started. HTTPS usage on the web has taken off as we've evolved Chrome security indicators. Later this year, we'll be taking several more steps along this path. To learn more about the changes and to get the link to our setup guides for HTTPS, head on over to the post. Over 1 billion people in the world have some form of disability. Building products that don't consider a diverse range of needs could mean missing a substantial group of potential users and customers. But don't worry, we're here to help. We recently launched a new suite of resources to help you make your products and designs more accessible, and links to those resources are in the post. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Wayne Pekarski for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.